The Lambda Function. In this video, we explore the powerful Lambda Function in Microsoft Excel. The Lambda Function allows you to create custom, reusable functions, making your formulas more efficient and easy to use. It's an awesome custom tool, and the best part for most of us is that it does not require VBA, macros, or JavaScript to make them work. I'll show you how to get started, but keep in mind that the Lambda Function is flexible and really extensible. Hopefully, this first look will empower you to define and use your own custom functions, expanding the capabilities of Excel to meet your custom and specific needs, but without programming languages. Let's check it out. The syntax of the Lambda function is pretty straightforward. Equals Lambda, and then in parentheses, parameter or calculation, then another parameter or calculation, or parameter 1, parameter 2, but ultimately the last argument is going to be the calculation. Parameters are values that you want to pass to the function, and the calculation is the formula that you want to execute. You can have up to 253 parameters, and again, it's what you want to pass through. It could be a cell reference, a string, or a number. Let's walk through the process of creating a Lambda function step by step. Step one is to test your formula. Make sure that the formula that you're using in the calculation argument works correctly. You can test it on your own to rule out any problems, but in this case, we're just doing a number and then adding one. We have equals lambda, and then we've defined our parameters as the word number. So we have number, comma, number plus one. Number plus one is the calculation. Now, when we do that, we get a calc error. And the reason we're getting this calc error is because we need to add a call to the lambda function to immediately return a result. That means my call, in parentheses, is going to be whatever the parameter is, whatever we're testing or passing through. I'm going to choose 1. I'll put it in parentheses, press Enter, and the result is 2. The reason, our parameter is number, which is 1. Then our calculation is that number plus 1, so it's 2. If we change our call to 5, for example, what do you think we'll get? 6? Yes. Let's take it a step further, because we don't always want to type in the call here. It's just a basic number 5. We want it to work with other cells. We want to be able to copy it and treat it like other functions in Excel. As we build on this, we have equals lambda, number, common number plus 1, and then our call, our function call, is to a4 instead of a number. That means we're reaching to this cell, which is a 1, and we get 2. But if I change this to 5 and press enter, we get a 6. Perfect. It's working. Next, if we want it to work even better, we're going to add it to the name manager. This can be done by clicking on the formulas tab and then accessing the name manager button in the define names group. From here, what we're going to do is create new and we're going to name our new function. We're just going to call it add one. The scope is going to be the whole workbook. We could make it work on just the sheet, but I want it to work everywhere. The comment is a special instruction, and this is going to remind you or other people who are using the function what it does, what it means. This function adds one to a value. And what are we going to refer to? We're going to refer to equals lambda, and then in parentheses, our function code. We're going to define the parameters, so number. These will basically be our arguments. And then the calculation is going to be number plus 1, ending parentheses. I'll click OK. Looks good. I'll choose Close. And now I'm going to type in equals add. I started typing add 1. There it is. This function adds 1 to a value. I can select it, and there's our defined parameter, number. In this case, I want to refer to cell A4 as my argument. Press Enter, and we get 2. This function works anywhere, and we just created it. It's a new function called add1, and it's got one argument. Which cell do you want to add 1 to? I could do it for pretty much any cell. For example, if I change this to E6, it's going to add 1 to 3, so we should get 4. Perfect. In order to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, we're going to use an analogy. Imagine we have a chef named to Celsius. Our chef specializes in converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. 
If you give it a Fahrenheit temperature, it knows how to transform it into Celsius. The recipe is a set of instructions that the chef follows, and in this scenario, the recipe is the lambda function's code. We're going to use equals lambda, and then in parentheses, temp, that'll be our parameter. Then the calculation is 5 divided by 9, and we multiply that by the temp minus 32. This code guides our function, or chef, to Celsius on how to perform the conversion. The kitchen is the workbook or the scope. That's where the chef works. It's the environment where the function operates. It has access to all the tools and ingredients or variables that are within the workbook. The ingredients are the input parameters. The chef needs the ingredients to cook, and they require Fahrenheit temperature as an input parameter, which we've called temp. This is the starting point for the conversion. Ultimately, there'll be a dish or output. The final dish is prepared after following the recipe. The chef or function to Celsius produces the converted result, which is a Celsius temperature. Similar to hiring a chef when needed, to Celsius is invoked on demand. When you input a Fahrenheit temperature, the Lambda function executes, performs the conversion, and provides a final result or dish. A comment like converts a Fahrenheit temperature to Celsius is like a note attached to the recipe, explaining the purpose of the conversion. It helps anyone reading the code to understand the chef's task. Let's check it out. We've got a list of values here, which are degrees Fahrenheit, and we need to convert them to Celsius. We could always do this conversion using that mathematical equation that we know, but let's create a lambda function. In order to create our lambda function, which we're going to call to Celsius, we need to take our function code. I'm going to just copy it. Then I'm going to go to the formulas tab and I need to access the name manager. Since I copied it, that became gray. So I need to press escape to get from edit mode to ready mode. There we go. And I'm going to click name manager. Here we have that function that we created earlier. Add one, we'll create a new one. This one is going to be called to Celsius. The scope is our workbook. The comment converts Fahrenheit values to Celsius, and we're going to refer to our function code. Looks good. I'm going to choose OK. There we go. We've defined it, and click Close. I'm going to click here, and let's try it out. Equals to Celsius. As I begin to type it, we see it listed like any other function. I can double click or press Tab. Then I can see this little callout where we have one argument. That's our parameter that we defined, temp. That temp is going to be a Fahrenheit. And when we press enter, it converts it. Now we have 40 degrees Celsius. What we did was create a lambda function called to Celsius. We defined our parameters or argument as temp, and we pass that number through. That way we can get degrees Celsius. Now from here, just like any other function, I can either drag it down or double click to send it down. And there we go. It works. 212 degrees Fahrenheit is in fact 100 degrees Celsius. Very cool. Let's try another one. Maybe you need to count words a lot. We could do a Lambda function to count how many words are in a cell. In this case, we're going to create one called count words. We're going to use the function code, which is here. And our parameter is just text. We're going to take that text and then we're going to do a calculation where Excel will count exactly how many words are in that cell for us. These can get pretty complicated. So when you create a Lambda function, once you set it up, it really does make things a lot easier. Just like before, click the name manager, click new, and we're going to call this one count words. The scope is the workbook. We can put a comment, counts how many words are in a cell, and we're going to refer to our Lambda function and click OK. Looks good. Now equals count words. You can see there are a lot of different count functions. There it is. And one argument, text. Our text is going to be, in this case, A19. Press Enter, send it down, and there we go. It works. And this is dynamic. That means if something in the cell changes, so will our result. Here's another example. Find the hypotenuse. We're going to use a lambda function 
to take the parameters a and b, and then we're going to do a calculation, which finds the square root of a squared plus b squared. We're calculating c. So I'm going to copy this and press escape, access the name manager, and create a new one. I'm going to call this one hypotenuse. We'll do a quick comment. Calculates the hypotenuse of a triangle, and we're going to refer to our function code, which is equals lambda a comma b comma square root, and in parentheses here we have a squared plus b squared. I'm going to click OK. That looks great. We'll choose close, and let's give it a try. If our triangle has a side of 3 and 4, what is the hypotenuse going to be? Equals hypotenuse. Our argument is a, that's our first one, comma, and then b is our second one. I can press enter or end the parentheses first, and we have 5. There we go. Perfect. Lastly, let's find the date for Thanksgiving in the US. We have a very long function here, and we don't want to have to do that every time. We just want to create a function called Thanksgiving date. To do that, we want to make sure that we get our function code correctly. I'll press escape and access name manager. We're going to name this Thanksgiving date. And the comment is going to be find the date for US Thanksgiving, and it's going to refer to our function code, and we're defining our parameter as year. That's what we want to pass through, this column of years. This looks great. I'm going to choose OK and close. Now let's give it a try. Equals Thanksgiving date. There it is. And we have one argument, which is year. We'll send that down. And it looks like this year, Thanksgiving is going to be on the 28th. But what about 2036? It'll be on the 27th. There it is. We did it. Hopefully this is helpful. The Lambda function allows you to create custom reusable functions, and as you can see, it makes your formulas more efficient and easy to use. As I mentioned earlier, keep in mind that the Lambda function is flexible and extensible. You can use this for very basic calculations or your most complex. And that is a first look at the Lambda function in Microsoft Excel.